everybody. Uh, welcome to our lab, and I would like to show you our uh, DSC component, where we have the, uh, the, uh, the chamber, and the chamber consists of uh, a furnace where we put our sample and reference. Uh, here you can see the, uh, uh, the reference sample and uh, the uh, play, uh, plate where we put the, the sample. And here we have the heat flow sensor and the temperature sensor. And from here uh, we have the we have the mechanical uh, refrigeration, or we can use uh, a liquid nitrogen. And this one is uh, connected to the uh, the gas uh, purge nitrogen. Have uh, the data acquisition uh, connect with the uh, with the chamber. And here we have uh, three condition where we have uh, an equal barium heating and uh, cooling ramp, and finally the isotherm. We need to ask three questions before using any instrument to measure food properties. Why, how, and where. Why means why we want to use it or what property do we want to measure. Second, how to use it, meaning its theoretical basis of measurement, major components, and operations. Third, what are the applications or use of the data or properties. In this video, I am going to explain how to use DSC, that is major components, fundamental principles, and its operation. There are two types of DSC based on its principle of operation. These are power compensated DSC and heat flux DSC. Power compensated or differential DSC measures the difference in power supply to the sample and the reference while maintaining temperature difference between the reference and sample at zero. Heat flux DSC measures the difference in heat flux between the sample and the reference from a heat source and sink. Finally, both types of DSC gives heat flow as a function of temperature or time. In my next video, I will explain the heat flow curve and how to identify different events in the sample in the process of heating or cooling. In the case of power compensated DSC, a temperature control chamber contains two cylindrical metal blocks for placing the reference pan and sample pan. These metal blocks contain two heating elements. Sample and reference are heated or cooled at a constant heating or cooling rate that is degree C per minute and the power supplied are measured that is PR for reference and PS for sample while maintaining temperature difference between the sample and reference are at zero that is TS minus TR at zero. Finally, heat flow is plotted as a function of temperature or time while heating at a constant rate. Therefore, in this system, we measure sample temperature, reference temperature, power supply to the sample and reference. Furnace heating or cooling. In the case of heating, electrical heating is used and during cooling a refrigeration system or liquid nitrogen is used. Liquid nitrogen systems could cool the process much lower than the mechanical cooling system. Pars gas is commonly used to maintain the chamber at inert condition or other reacting gas could be used. For example, if we want to determine oxidation, then oxygen could be used. In heat flux DSC, a temperature control chamber containing two cylindrical metal blocks are used for placing the reference pan and sample pan. These metal blocks are placed on a metal heat reservoir containing one heating element. Sample and reference are heated or cooled at a constant heating or cooling rate, that is degree C per minute. And three temperatures are measured, that is TS, sample temperature, TR, reference temperature, and TV, reservoir temperature. In this system, temperature difference, that is del T, TS minus TR, is measured as a function of temperature. In the old system, del T was plotted as a function of temperature. In the new system, heat flux is related to the del T considering a complicated equation and heat flux is measured. Finally, heat flow is plotted as a function of temperature or time while heating at a constant rate. Therefore, 
in the heat flux system we measure sample temperature reference temperature and reservoir temperature in both systems power compensated dc and heat flux dc all operations are controlled and recorded by a computer with a data interface with an instrument i have just shown the relationship with heat flux and del t i am not explaining the details of the equation here you can find any textbook on dsc we need to know the purpose of different protocols for analyzing a sample by dsc protocols can be used to determine different characteristics of a sample in a protocol different steps are used the most important steps are equilibrium conditions before and end of a step ramp is the heating or cooling rate up to a target temperature and isothermal conditions when a sample is kept at a specific temperature for a desired time it could be done within any temperature between the beginning and end of a specific protocol factors affecting heat flow curve depend on the furnace heating rate annealing sensitivity of the recording system furnace atmosphere geometry of sample holder composition and types of pans sealing of pans and intact or leak of the pans after sealing in relation to sample factors affecting heat flow curve depend on the amount of sample that is mass of sample nature of sample homogeneity of sample packing of sample solubility of gas in the sample release gases from the sample particle size how sample is loaded into a pan heat of reaction and thermal conductivity of the sample the main difference between the heat flux dsc and power compensated dsc are in heat flux dsc only thermocouples as temperature sensors while power compensated dsc contains thermocouples separate sensors and heaters for the sample and reference in heat flux dsc there is only one block of sample and reference cells while power compensated dsc contains separate blocks for sample and reference cell in heat flux dsc temperature difference between the sample and reference is measured while power compensated dsc measures the thermal power supply to the heaters to maintain the temperature difference between sample and reference to zero power compensated dsc has lower sensitivity than heat flux dsc but its response time is more rapid this makes power compensated dsc well suited for kinetics studies in which fast equilibrations to the new temperature settings are needed it is also capable of higher resolution than heat flux dsc thank you for watching this video until the end and please subscribe to our channel if you like this video